today, we're going to be thinking more about who Jesus is and what that means for us who are his followers. Now, when Jesus lived on earth about 2,000 years ago, he did lots of really special things. Maybe you know about some of these. So one day, he turned water into wine at a wedding feast. Another day, some of his friends saw him walking on water. He healed people. And he even raised people from the dead. Now, all of this made people wonder who he really was. And one day, he started talking about this with some of his closest friends. Then first he asked them, a bit generally, who do people say I am? And some people, they said, some people say you're John the Baptist. Others say you're Elijah. Now, Elijah was a prophet from the Old Testament. And some other people say, you're one of the other prophets, not really sure who. And then Jesus said to them, but who do you say I am? One of his closest friends, who's called Peter, answered, you are the Christ. And this was a really amazing thing to say, because the Christ was someone really special indeed. It was a sort of title for a really special king that God had promised to send to rescue his people. And the Jewish people had been waiting for hundreds of years for the Christ to come. And now he's arrived. But then Jesus says, does something very odd. He tells his friends not to tell anybody about this at this time. This was because the Jews were expecting the Christ to be some sort of powerful warrior king who ride at the front of an army and lead them against their enemies and have victory in the kingdom on earth. So something like a cross between a knight and a really powerful king. But Jesus wasn't like this. Instead he told his friends he was going to have to suffer many things, including rejection by the Jewish leaders and the priests. And he said that he was going to be killed and that happened on the cross and he said that after that he was going to rise again after three days his friends protested about this but jesus insisted this all had to happen because it was according to god's plan now after this he then called the whole crowd together and spoke to them as well he was talking about what it means to follow him and what it means for them and for us because he said anyone who follows him has to say no to the things that he wants so it's not that we can't enjoy good things god does give us good things the bible tells us and we should be thanking him for them and enjoying them but saying no to the things we want is really about not putting ourselves first so maybe letting others decide what game we're playing or letting someone else have a bigger piece of cake and when you think about what pleases God, because following Jesus means being like him. And remember, we've got the Holy Spirit to help us in all of this. And we can read stories about Jesus in the Bible to know what he's like, how he's kind and loving. He always, always puts other people first. And Jesus says that we have a choice in all this. We can try to grab everything we want in this world but lose the possibility of eternal life with Jesus by not following him. Or we can follow Jesus, offer him everything, putting him and others before ourselves, and that way we show that we're true followers of Jesus and we will be with him forever. Now instead of a craft this week, we've got a bit of an activity to think a bit more about what this might mean for each of us. So for this, all you'll need is a piece of paper, some coloured pens and I think a pencil as well would be helpful because you're going to start by drawing around your foot on the piece of paper because when we talk about following someone we often talk about the idea of following in their footsteps a bit like if you're on the beach or having a walk in the snow and you can see where someone else has walked and you can try and put your feet in their prints so if you're ready Draw around one of your feet or get someone to help you do that. 
And then I have done this already, but just in pencil. So I'm going to go around the outline felt tip first. And it doesn't need to be a perfect shape. Um, I know mine certainly won't be. But there we go. You've got one foot shape. Then I'm going to choose maybe a couple of different colours of pen and inside just write or maybe rather draw things that are ways that we can follow Jesus. So maybe helping someone or sharing your toys with them or letting someone else choose what watching on TV or something like that. So Helping, sharing, and going to draw a TV. Well, it's not a very good TV, but there you go. Then outside the foot shape, draw the things that we should be saying no to. So that might be making ourselves look good by boasting about things we can do or things that we have or maybe it's so we should be saying no to complaining or to getting cross when we don't get what we want so you put some of these things around the outside so getting cross complaining Draw a little frowny face there as well. So you can spend a bit more time, have a bit more of a think, maybe talk to you, people, think about things to put inside or outside, things to do to follow Jesus, things to say no to. And then maybe you want to keep it somewhere to remind yourself during the week of what we've talked about today. But I'm going to say a short prayer now, and if you want to make it your own, just join in with the Amen at the end. Father, thank you that Jesus is the Christ, your special King, come to rescue your people. Please help us to follow him, and please help us to say no to the things that we want. Amen. That's all for this week. Next week is Thetford Team Kids Live on Zoom again, so do get in touch if you want to have the Zoom details for that. Otherwise, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.